Welcome back. Nine days until the February 21st primary when the four candidates running for state Supreme Court will be narrowed to two. At stake, balance of the state's high court. Conservative Justice Patience Rogensack is retiring, running to replace her. Two liberal candidates, Dane County Judge Everett Mitchell and Milwaukee County Judge Jana Proditsewicz. And the conservatives, former Justice Daniel Kelly and Waukesha County Judge Jennifer Doro. Judge Doro joins us now. Judge, welcome to Upfront. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you. We are about a week to go. The campaigns have been spending, outside groups have been spending. This could be the most expensive race in, in state history. Do you have enough to remain competitive in these final days? I'm very encouraged by the support that I've received and the fundraising that the team has been able to do, and we're just going to keep pushing along until the end. Let's talk about some of the issues that will likely become before the court. All of the candidates are touting various endorsements from groups in, in these final days. Wisconsin Right to Life has endorsed you and former Justice Kelly. Can they trust you, or have you told them that the state's abortion ban will stay in place if you're elected? I've absolutely not told them that. I focused my uh, answers to them on what my judicial philosophy is, how I approach cases, and have made no commitments to anyone on how I would rule on any case or any issue that comes before the court. They clearly have, have a stake in this and want, want the ban in, in place. Why do you think they endorsed you then? I believe they endorsed me because of my judicial philosophy of believing in following the law as written and applying that law to the facts of the cases that come before the court, not prejudging cases. Former Justice Daniel Kelly on this show questioned your conservative credentials. He compared you potentially to Justice Brian Hagedorn, who a conservative has, has been a swing vote on a number of high profile decisions. First, I'm curious, your thoughts on Justice Hagedorn as a justice? You know, I like to focus on what I bring to the table in my experience, and that is 11 years on the bench doing the work of a judge day in and day out. I can only speak for myself and what I'm going to do, and that's to bring to the Wisconsin Supreme Court a very reliable, stable, and predictable set of rules that that help me decide cases, right? Those principles of interpretation, those principles of understanding that constitutional rights matter, that separation of powers matter, and that I'm not in this to impose my political beliefs or my personal preferences. If I wanted to do that, I would run for the legislature. I'd run for assembly, I'd run for Senate, or maybe I'd run for governor, but that's not what I'm running for. And that's what distinguishes me, of course, from two of the candidates on the other side. Justice Kelly says your conservative congressionals are untested on a statewide level. I have an 11-year track record. The people of Wisconsin can have faith in what I do because, frankly, they've seen me in action. They saw me in some very unusual and, at times, some challenging circumstances as I presided over the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack trial. But what they saw was a commitment to constitutional rights, the rights of the defendant, even though he was accused of some horrific things, the rights of the victims, and even the rights of the witnesses to ensure that that case again with a firm hand but a fair hand and one where order was the rule of the day at least by me and I think that has broad appeal for people and so they can look at that and say we trust her because we've seen her but that's what I do day in and day out whether there's a million people watching me or just a couple of people in the courtroom. Your first TV ad that you put out featured images uh, of the attack, featured your, your time uh, on the bench. Why those images? And to those who say you're capitalizing off the tragedy, you say what to them? Again, people got to see my dedication to the rule of law and maintaining fairness, justice, and order. And that's what they saw, and that's why those commercials are running. In the Trump administration, former President Trump appointed your husband Deputy Assistant Secretary within the Homeland Security Department. Have you talked with former President Trump since you've announced your run? I have not. He's weighed in, you know, on races like this and endorsed. Would you seek his endorsement or welcome it? Um, I am not seeking his endorsement. Would you welcome it? Um, he has a right to endorse 
whomever he wants to endorse. Um, for me, I'm seeking the endorsement of the people of the state of Wisconsin with their vote first on February 21st and then, God willing, on April 4th. We've heard so many people here in the state and across the country say this race is so critically important to the future of the court, to the future of, of the state. Why is this race so important? Well, for many years, Wisconsin has a history on the Supreme Court of having a conservative um, court, meaning the majority, whether it be 4, 3, or 5, 2, depending on when you look at that time frame. And those justices apply the law as written, and they have a strong history of following the rule of law. Again, that leads to And it usually backs Republicans. It usually backs Republican legislation if bills come to the court. Well, it's the legislation that is the voice of the people. And it's important that any justice give deference to the laws that have been passed by our legislature. Waukesha County Judge Jennifer Darrow. Judge, thank you so much for your time and coming on the show. Thank you for having me. We've now talked with all four candidates ahead of next week's primary. Right now, you can see each interview on WISN.com slash upfront and our streaming channel and app called Very Local. Up next, the president in the battleground and the former Bucks player on Capitol Hill.